Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive. Today we're going to be talking about how to add fire to a project. Now notice I did not say green screen. I have a whole video about why green screening fire is bad. You need to use a composite layer to add fire or fireworks or anything with a black background to your project. So to do that, to add something with a black background, you got to get your fire on a black background, you got to film it on a black background, whatever you got to do. But when you do that, it's going to have a much better look than a green screen effect on a fire. So don't download a green screen fire and follow the green screening tutorial I have because that won't get you good fire. Alright, so we're in Vegas Pro 17. All I've done is drag my source clip, the clip that's going to be on top, to uh, the timeline here. And so here's the appropriate way to add fire. So make sure you have a black background fire. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a video track and we're going to put that video track underneath this track. So this track needs to be on top. This track needs to be underneath. And then you click on the hamburger menu right here. And then hit composite, uh, I'm sorry, make compositing child. So click on the hamburger menu, make compositing child. Then it should look like this track is encapsulated inside of this track. So next, you're going to drag your fire with a black background. You're going to drag that underneath it. So if it's got a sound or anything, you'll need to put that on another layer. I'm going to mute the sound for this because it's a visual effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to key out this fire but we're not so we don't use chroma key on a black background it's just it's just not what you want it's not going to work so you need to hit composite compositing mode so go to the hamburger menu of the top track the top the parent track is what it's called go to composite mode and go to screen boom now you've got fire this also works for fireworks see works perfectly for fireworks so another thing you can do is if you want the fire but you don't necessarily like this isn't quite what you want like you don't want the you want the fire a little brighter and you want the blacks a little more gone like it doesn't quite look right what you need to do is actually adjust the fire so add to the clip some video effects you can go to levels drop that on there and then make sure you're looking at it increase the contrast see to kind of darken their blacks crush your blacks and brighten your fire up just a little bit that will give you a more what desired effect you can drop the gamma on it if you need to see how that really darkens and evens out the blacks there so now with my improved fire I'm gonna drop that back into my child track there we go you might have a better effect for what you're looking for more fiery fire effect so that's how to add fire to a clip you can you can resize this you can move it around, you can turn it, flip it, whatever you need to do. There's picture in picture mode to move it around as well. You can crop it, you can do, if you got Vegas Pro, which you do because you're watching the Vegas Pro version of this tutorial, you can, you can um, add a mask to it or you can mask out just a piece of the fire if you want. Uh, see there? So there's all sorts of things. If you're looking for tutorials about those specific things, check out my channel. I got a masking tutorial specifically too. But that's how to add fire to a project. So don't green screen. If you're wondering why, I have a video about that. But don't green screen fire. Use black background fire and uh, make a composite track and a screen. And you're going to have some great looking fire. So thanks for watching. This has been Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. I come out with several a week. And uh, if you're looking to buy this software, if you do it through my affiliate link, that really helps me out a ton. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.